Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Comic Freak for Life with a new segment. I'm going to be talking about decks that might be good in the new format. Um, with the new uh, OCG ban list announced in the Shonen Jump in Japan, uh, the TCG list almost always goes exactly by the OCG list. So, uh, with the OCG list, uh, Insectors got hit really hard, Windups got hit really hard, and Dino Rabbits got hit a little bit. So it looks to me like the format is going to be a little bit slower. So there's going to be a lot of slower decks that are going to be better. Today I'm going to be talking about Gladiator Beasts. So I'm going to give you a deck profile, kind of, of what a good Gladiator Beast might look, deck profile might look like. And you guys can discuss what you think about the deck, and what you think its, it's good sides and bad sides are. And if you want to help me out uh, to fix the deck a little bit, you can go ahead and comment about that too. So we're going to start off. First card in the deck is Elma Hero Stratos, which searches out your two Elma Hero Prismas. Next we run three Test Tigers. So what the play is, is you summon Elma Hero Prisma. You use his effect to dump Gladiator Beast Bestiari to the grave. Then, because Element Hero Prisma's effect, his name is now Glider Beast Bestiari, you can special summon Test Tiger, use Test Tiger's effect, tribute Test Tiger, return Prisma to the deck, special summon Gladiator Beast Darius, Darius's effect, special summon Glider Beast Bestiari, and then you can contact for Gladiator Beast Gazarus and pop two of their cards. So that's the main thing of the deck. That's the play. So. That's why you run three Test Tigers and two Prismas, and the Strato searches out the Prisma. And so the rest of the deck, we have two Gladiator Beast Laquari, 1800. When it goes back to the deck and is special summoned by a Gladiator Beast effect, he becomes 2100 attack. The next one is Gladiator Beast Darius. Like I said, when it's summoned by a Gladiator Beast effect from the deck, you can special summon one Gladiator Beast monster from your graveyard and its effect is negated. And if Darius returns to the deck by its effect, then the other monster returns as well. The next one is two Gladiator Beast of Quest. Quest's effect is when he's special summoned from the deck by a Gladiator Beast effect. You can add one Gladiator Beast card from your graveyard to your hand, which is usually either a Gladiator Beast monster or a Gladiator Beast war chariot. Next card, the one of, is Gladiator Beast Bestiari. When he's specialed from the deck by Gladiator Beast effect, he can pop a back row. And he's also used to contact in a Gazarus because Gazarus requires Gladiator Beast Bestiari and one other Gladiator Beast monster. Next, we run one Gladiator Beast Mermillo. When it's special summoned from the deck by Gladiator Beast effect, you can pop one face up monster on the field. And the last one, Gladiator Beast Rediari. It's effect when he's special from the deck by a Gladiator Beast effect, Gladiator Beast monster, you can remove one card in either graveyard from play. So, they all have different uses, they're all really good. Um, Gladiator Beasts, once they get going, they're actually really good, but they're kind of slow in the fact that it takes time to get them going. Uh, onto the spells, we start off with our staples, we have one Monster Reborn, one Dark Hole, one Heavy Storm, one Book of Moon, two MSTs, three Smashing Grounds, and three Forbidden Lands. Now, I don't have this deck up to date with what the new format's going to be, but you would probably put Sugiyomi in the Monsters as well, because you can use it as a Book of Moon effect, and then have your Gladiator Beast attack it, defense, and get its effect. Now, we run Lances because Gladiator Beasts being bottomless or deprisoned is never a good thing, and Smashing Ground gets rid of their big monsters, so you can attack directly or attack a smaller monster with your Gladiator Beast monster to get their effect. Next, for the traps, that's it for the spells. So for the traps, we have three Gladiator Beast War Chariot. If you control a face-up Gladiator Beast, you can negate an effect monster effect and destroy it anywhere. So in the grave, in the hand, anything like that. Then we run... The Solemn Brigade, two Solemn Warning and Solemn Judgment. Uh, it's more about control a lot in this deck, so you want to negate summons. Next, we have three Compulsory Evacuation Device 
they have a big monster or something that's in the way, you can compulse it and get rid of it. Another thing might option might be is taking out these for depresents. It's all based on uh, preference, but with Insectors, Compulse was better. But now that Insectors are not going to be seeing very much play at all, Compulsory Evacuation device is not going to be as good as Depresent. Next, we run two Torrential Tributes. Um, if you need to get rid of a lot of monsters, if your opponent tries to go for a big play, you can just Torrential all their monsters. Next, we have one Mirror Force. In the next format, we'll be running two Mirror Force, but for now, it's one. And the last card, Starlight Road. You run so many back rows, you need at least one to protect your back row. So that's pretty much it for this deck. Um, if you have any comments about how you think you might make it better in the new format or how you think it's going to do, please comment below and let me know. Um, also, if you have any ideas for other decks that might be good in the next format for me to make a video on, please let me know. Alright, thanks guys. Hope you enjoyed this new segment and this is Comic Free for Life, keeping it real.